this is Jenna. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm delighted to have a guest chef here, Ivana Poplovsky, and she's a raw food chef, living food chef, and she's going to show us how to make one of her delicious recipes. Ivana is originally from Poland, but spent many years in New York and is now living here in Sarasota, and we're very lucky to have her lending her talents here. So Ivana, what are you making today? Hi, uh, what we're gonna make today is kale coleslaw. Uh, it's a wonderful way to introduce kale into people's diet, and everyone loves coleslaw, <laughs> so, and it's delicious. So I'll be showing how to destem the coleslaw and what to do to make it uh, softer and how to make a delicious dressing. That sounds wonderful. Okay, so first you're going to show us how to cut up the cabbage, is that right? Uh, yes, there is a way to cut up the ca cabbage, nice and thin. Okay. So there we go, we just hold it steady mm -hmm. on a board and you wanna have the knife steady in your hand and we kinda go like that. And cabbage is a wonderful um, vegetable it's really really nutritious it's really really good for you probably your grandma or aunt or someone <laughs> made it yeah and um what i want to show is how to deal with kale mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to get it into the diet mm -hmm. they know they need it right. it's a great source of um, vitamin k vitamin a vitamin c there's a protein um, calcium mm -hmm. which we all hear about so all you do is kind of hold it and pull down mm -hmm. and you get the stem off mm -hmm. and there you go again kind of uh, rip in action and this is a red kale yeah there's also green kale so I guess you could use either one right you could use either one mm -hmm. all the kale is wonderful mm -hmm. and you kind of take the leaves and you you want to make a little fold of it mm -hmm. you could put these away so it's not too much just kind of hold it you're like so rolling it's controlled, it. yep, mm -hmm. so you're rolling it. And then you just do the same as you did with the cabbage. Okay. Same action. You want yep. it kind of uh, thin. Because you do want to open up the kale to get the nutrients. And after we are done with it, we will massage it with some sea salt. Mm -hmm. It will have like a cook appearance. Okay. And it will be much um, easier to digest and and the sea Delicious. salt makes it wilt, right? Yes, sea salt makes it wilt. It mm -hmm. opens up mm -hmm. the cow. So let's just finish this part. Okay. Roll it up, and there we go. And it's it's just so good for you. So this is just another way of getting it to eat. Um, you could put it in smoothies. That's another way to get kale in your diet. Mm -hmm. And um, of, of course, a lot of people cook it, but when you're cooking, Kale, you are taking away a lot of nutrients. Right. So this is why this is so important to try to get it into your diet raw. Okay. And this is one way to do it. So you just put a little salt on it. You just sprinkle it. Okay. Not too much, is just that, a little bit. What kind of salt is that? This is sea salt. Okay. And um, you do want to use um, sea salt compared to regular table salt. Um, it's much more high in minerals. Mm -hmm. uh, all the minerals are there. So you, this is what you do. You kind of massage it, squeeze it, and um, you know, spend a minute or so on it, not too long. Looks like it's already starting yeah. to melt a little bit. It's very, very quick. Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to just leave it alone for a little bit. Okay. So the salt is very important because it does have all the minerals, and that's why you would use a sea salt okay. <clears throat> compared to just a regular uh, table salt. So now we'll move on to the dressing. Okay. Um, what can I do to help? You could put it in. Okay. <laughs> so you can tell me a little bit. We'll put yes. these in our, tell me what this is. This is an olive oil. Okay. So now how much olive oil is that? That's a tablespoon, okay. a tablespoon of uh, flax oil, okay. which we know is rich in omega threes, mm -hmm. which we all need. Okay. Um, that is some lemon juice. Fresh squeezed lemon juice. Fresh squeezed lemon juice, another mm -hmm. uh, tablespoon. Okay. Um, agave nectar, oh, it's okay. a great sweetener. It comes from a cactus plant. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a great alternative to sugar of any kind. It's a, it's a great thing. Lower, low glycemic, right? Very low glycemic, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have freshly squeezed garlic. Okay. And we'll put the recipe up so everybody yes. can see. And, and this is um, 
mustard uh, powder. Dry, dry mustard. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Dry mustard. Okay. Oh, I love mustard. And some onion powder mm -hmm. because it's better to use onion powder in your dressings mm -hmm. than just raw onion. It will kind of take over your dressings. Oh. Okay. So that's why we go towards powders okay. in the dressing. All right. Um, and that's miso. Okay. Uh, it provides um, some salt into the dressing without actually using salt. And I guess that's what is, it. What is miso? Did we get this one? Yeah, we got Miso it. is a uh, soybean. Mm -hmm. It's fermented soybean. Fermented soybean, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, and then we just whisk it. Whisk it we, okay. we could whisk it, we could put it in a jar and just shake it. Mm -hmm. So you don't need any equipment for this. I mean, you could be on the road making this. Uh -huh. All you need is a knife and a little jar. And of course the ingredients. Uh, but it's really, really simple to use and it's delicious okay. when, when you smell this. It's so yummy. Mm. So after having this kale, it well, smells amazing. Mm, oh my gosh. We just add the cabbage uh -huh. to it. And we add some tomatoes. Um, we'll give a little contrast and just a yummy taste. I bet and everything, everything is onion. organic, right? Everything uh, is organic. Yeah. Um, if I can grow it, I grow it. Mm -hmm. uh, if I can buy it from the farmers, I buy it from the farmers in town. Mm -hmm. And uh, definitely you want all organic things. You don't want to eat pesticides and um, all that yummy other stuff. <laughs> now I know you have two young children. Do they yes. eat this? My children do eat it. They mm -hmm. get exposed to it every day. This is what mommy eats. Mm -hmm. And um, they do try all just kinds spoon of... Just spoon it on? Just spoon it on. Just put it on and we'll just keep mixing it. Okay. And um, they get exposed to this food every mm -hmm. day. And when they go to school, they share the food with other kids. They eat seaweed and all kinds of... Um, uh, desserts, raw brownies, mm -hmm. and they love it. They, mm -hmm. they they love the food, and they come up with their own recipes. Yeah. Um, so it's a fantastic thing. So what do you, what would a tip be for you uh, for other parents out there who have children? They they want their children to eat better. Well, my suggestion would be. You need to eat it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> they need to see you, you eat it. You can't be like, drinking a Coke and then no, hiding you, it behind you, your no, back. No, you cannot. They okay. will smell it on you. <laughs> oh, okay. If you eat a have cookie. Have you been busted? No, I have not, but I have heard other people say it. Uh -huh. Where they eat a cookie, they have a weakness, the children go, Mommy, what is that? <laughs> so, no, you, you, you have to be the example. They have mm -hmm. to see you do it. Mm -hmm. And you just keep doing it and keep offering it to them. Mm -hmm. And eventually they're gonna say, what is that mommy? Right. And before you know it, they're eating it. So no pressure, but you need to be the example. Mm -hmm. And that's what I find. And be patient, be patient with yourself, be patient with the children. Mm -hmm. They'll come around, Okay. they'll come around to it. Great. Um, you could be the hero. <laughs> <laughs> that's wonderful, let's serve up a little bowl of this. Yes. It looks just fantastic. Wow, that would be an amazing lunch thing to take with you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. This this could be a meal on its own mm -hmm. because you have all these nutrients in there. You you could also add other things. You could put capers or if you if you have taste for mm -hmm. other things. Uh, but it's delicious all by itself or as a side salad. It's it's really 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 yummy. Okay, I'm gonna try. Okay, I think we should sample it. Okay, because. I have I've never actually tried the salad. I've heard about the salad, <laughs> but I've never tried it. I've heard that this is a very popular dish that whenever you bring it to a friend's house, it all gets gobbled up. Yes, people get nervous when it gets low. Mmm, 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 yes, mmm, mmm. And this will be my lunch. Mmm, that is fantastic. Mmm, that is so yummy. Thank you, Ivana, <laughs> for being here today. Thank, Thank you for you. sharing this amazing recipe. Thank you for having me. And thank you for coming into the kitchen. Have a great day.